Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do simple toning exercises using light hand weights. So again, if you don't have any hand weights or you're just feeling like you need a little bit of rest today, but you'd like to move your body, you can do this body weight. That is absolutely no problem whatsoever. Let's get ourselves warmed up now before we start. Okay. Just going forward and back here, I'll talk you through what's coming up today. So our sequence of work is 15 seconds to rest, 45 seconds to do your actual work. If you want to increase your work time, you can just add on an extra five seconds and that means you're decreasing your rest time. That's fine, okay. All right, let's march here on the spot. Push those arms back. We have 15 exercises and we are going to repeat them twice. And I like doing that when any time we're lifting weights i really do love getting in a second round okay because i always feel the first round is like an extension of the warm of your body still kind of getting into it a little bit nervous system is still warming up too that's it now bring those arms up a little higher we hit the front of that shoulder good keep your spine now upright great work big deep breaths in for me Draw in that air, fill up those lungs. Don't just focus on the upper portion of the lungs. Try and get down to the lower portion as well. That's it, exaggerate that breathing. Now we're gonna have a small water break when we get to move 15 today and we will come back and we will repeat it. Okay, let's rest out the arms here. Let's change up the legs, so just side stepping. That's it, warming up those inner and outer thighs. Just getting a bit of life into those hips. <laughs> And then you can bring in the arms when you're ready. That's it, lifting and lifting. Now, I've said on previous videos, if you feel like you don't need any water break there in the middle of the workout, I know some of you have said to me you don't actually need that water break. And then a lot of people are, really do appreciate it. So just trying to please everyone, I've just come up with a little idea that during that break, I do advise you to drink water, particularly in these warmer temperatures, but you can pick a move from the workout that you've just done and uh, just repeat it again just to keep your body moving until we get back and we repeat the, the round again, we do round two. Or you can pick your own exercise or you can jog on the spot or march on the spot, okay? If you feel that you don't need that break. That's good. Now let's reach these arms up higher over your head. If you uh, want to stay down a little bit lower, that's fine. Just go back to this move here. Okay, if you've had trouble with arms going above your head, that's it, good, and reach, and reach, good. Four to go, and three, two, now hold the legs open about shoulder distance. We'll just do a, little, a few little mini squat thrusters, and this is what you'll do during the workout, because we do have squat thrusters coming up. Move nine, good, you just do a little seat and reach up. If you can get down a little deeper, a little bit more of a 90 degree squat, that's fine, just watch your knees track out over your toes there that's it good reach up keep that chest upright for me punch out the ceiling well done let's do four and three two now let's circle those arms you can tap out the toe here good that's nice getting all the cracks and creaks out of the shoulders and that upper half well done Round we go. Let's go reverse it all the way. Keep that chest upright for me now when you're reversing. Keep breathing. Let's hear the air coming in and out there. That's it. Good work. Four to go. Three, two, and one. Let's do some rainbow legs, a little bit more into the hips. Good. And around. And around. Now keep your hips facing to the front. So just imagine they're like headlights on a car. And we've got to keep them facing the front. Okay, so don't rotate. Feel that nice pull. You'll get a much better stretch in your inner thighs when you do that. Good. Well done. And two to go. And last one. Okay stationary walks let's warm up the ankles all right now while you warm up your ankles there 
I'm going to show you the first move and then I will show you each move during the 15 second break. You can join in with me if you like to get close to a minute or take the rest as needed. Make sure you have your dumbbells handy. You know, actually I forgot to say to you, keep going here with this walk. I have a variety of weights. I'm going to go up to three kilograms because we have a, a dumbbell snatch coming up and I always love doing that with a little bit more weight, okay? So it doesn't matter if you don't have that variety of weights, but if you do, you might want to try that one with a little bit more weight. Okay, first move, we're going to do a double step touch. So over we go. So it's one foot meeting the other and then just repeat it and a chest press. Okay, so I'm going to use two lighter dumbbells for that one. Right, let's get moving. Enjoy your workout. That's great. It's great that you're here. I know it's tough working out in the heat, so it's well done for for pushing yourself to do that because it is an extra challenge. Okay, let's get ready for double step touch. I've moved over to the side a little bit to give myself space. Get the feet down first and then start bringing in the arms. Push forward and back. Good. Now I want you to really feel the muscles in between your shoulder blades working here, okay? You can really feel those posture muscles with this exercise, your trapezius and your rhomboids push away that's it good if you're tired or you're you're just feeling like you can't hold them up that high for 45 seconds bring them down a little bit lower you can even leave them in front of your chest like this and you're still going to get extra resistance you can do body weight lots of options good next move is a side kick now side kick and then punch the opposite arm out. Now, if you can't kick that high, down here is fine, okay? Or even failing that, you can do just do a pendulum and, and punch out the other arm, okay? Take your time with this one. Now, this is a, needs, requires a bit of balance. Side kick, punch out. Side kick, punch out. You can put the weights down, put a chair in front of you, and hold on to the chair for assistance. Just get that kick in. That's it, good kick. Now I have to bend a little bit to the side just to allow for range of movement, but don't be overly bending or you'll fall over. Good. Kick it out, punch it out. Kick it out, punch it out. Good. Kick, kick, punch. Good. Kick and punch. One more and punch. Well done. Great work, great work. Whew, feeling really stretched and worked there. Okay, other leg to do, and I just reverse it here. I feel like a good stretch for that leg. Okay, let's go. Kick, punch, good. Kick, and punch it out. Focus, punch it out. Slow this one down, good. Punch it out. Kick, remember down low, if you can't kick that high, you just don't have the mobility or the strength. There's lots of ways to get through this. Use the chair like I suggested there. Leave out the dumbbells. The dumbbells do actually make the exercises that little bit more advanced. So if you're not used to these, leave them out. Good. And kick. Punch it out. Kick and punch it out. Well done. I am ser seriously feeling like stretched there. <laughs> wide knee raise, right, we're doing wide knee raises. Let's get the legs down first and we're gonna pull the arms back behind us. You might have to rotate your body here a little bit to get that action of that move. Turning a little bit, okay? Now I want you to really focus, driving the weights back and feeling your muscles there in your mid back working between your shoulder blades a little bit lower. Good. Drive back. And you're going to work your tummy here. Two, we're drawing that knee up towards your, your belly button. Good. Pull back. Pull back. Good. Next exercise is your stiff leg deadlift. We've done those a few times on the channel. Great move for the hamstrings. Bicep curls, we're going to add on a little bit today. Well done. I'll quickly show you in case you want to get going. Press that, stick that bottom out behind you. Bring your weights down towards the floor. Keep your legs pretty stiff and then into a bicep curl. Okay, so again, 
down towards the floor, come up, bicep curl. Okay, let's go. Keep that neck relaxed. Curl those weights up. The legs stay pretty stiff, which is where it gets its name from. Good. But stick that bottom out behind you. Come up, squeeze your glutes, squeeze those biceps. Good. And curl. Well done. We've got our dumbbell snatch coming next. So if you've decided you want to go a little heavier with that, have that weight around. I'll pause the video and go grab it. <laughs> curl it up. It's just one of those exercises. It's a big, big hip extension move. And you'll probably get away with more weight with that one. All right, so I'm gonna go up, whoops, a little bit heavier. Okay, right, so we're just lifting up over the head. Watch your back here with this one. We're staying on one side. All right, ready to go with me? Okay, lift up. Good, put the other hand out for balance. Good, don't lean back. When you get here, make sure your back is really straight. You shouldn't be feeling this in your lower back. If you are, you might be bending back too far. Reach up, good. Slight bend of the knee there. Head up, head up. That's it, if you keep your head up, you'll more than likely avoid rounding your back. It's wonderful for shoulder, upper body mobility, this snatch. Reach up, good. Using those hips, hip extension, to allow you to drive more weight up over your head. Now, obviously, if you can't lift weight above your head, you can just bring it out in front. Here, try that for the next one. Okay. All right, so again, if you can't lift over your head, just bring it out to chest height. All right, heart rate's up a little bit after that, but we keep our feet in position because we're gonna go any second. Abs engaged. Lift up. Good. Reach up, come on, you're doing a great job here. Looking wonderful with your dumbbell snatches. That's it, good. Slight bend in the knee, chest down towards the legs, but you're keeping your back straight, so that's important. Reach up, good. Reach up. Well done, come on, keep moving, keep going. Can you feel tension in around your belly button? Yes, great. That means you're keeping your core safe and engaged, your back safe. Reach up. Last one. Well done. Good work. Okay. Now I'll go back down to my smaller ones. What have we got next? So yes, we have our hip extension for two. Shoulder press. Okay. So a bum squeeze, in other words. One, two, and up. Good. One, two, so we have the nice technical name, hip extension, and then we have the street name, butt squeeze. <laughs> Reach up, good. Squeeze, squeeze. Now I'm purposely, purposely separating out the two of these because I really want you to, <clears throat> excuse me, feel the muscles in your bum working hard. Squeeze, good. One, two, shoulder press. One, two, shoulder press, good. One, two, and finish out there with the shoulder press. Well done, okay. You should actually feel some work going on in that bum after that one. Now here we go again, we've got some squat thrusters. This is next. More work for the glutes, okay, and at the front of your legs, here your thighs. Okay, now, if you can sit into, if you can't get into that squat, just do a little bounce of the hip or a little seat and thrust the weight up over your head. Good. Do it body weight if you're having a little bit of issues with the dumbbells. If you can get down a little bit deeper into a more of a deeper squat, try that. Good. Now remember, squats are not bad for the knees. Squats performed incorrectly with the incorrect form are bad for the knees. So just make sure your knees are tracking out over your shoelaces. Chest is staying upright. Lead the squat with your bottom behind you, pressing out behind you. Good, well done, you did great. Now we are going to punch the ceiling, then punch out with the opposite hand, okay? 
take note of what your arm is leading punching the ceiling because for the following move we're going to switch it around okay punch the ceiling punch it I'm starting here right hand punching the ceiling left hand punching across the body but I will switch that around good for the next exercise stay on one side here good and across now let's give these punches some purpose that's it punch out the corner of that room punch across your body feel those back muscles and those shoulder muscles working here good work watch your back stay in tune with your lower back particularly as you punch across your body it can be a little bit stressful there if you're not engaging the muscles so make sure you're pulling your belly button in towards your spine good keeping the hips facing the front okay if you want to go now it's the other arm so it's going to punch out the opposite's going to punch across the body okay you don't have to take this 15 second rest if you don't want it all right up across up across good come on hit the corner of the room for me that's it slow this one down again not rushing I'm not really intending to get cardio today you may or may get your heart rate up good some of these moves obviously this one will get your heart rate up because you're punching away weight above your head but I want you to slow it down and purposely feel each punch as you punch up to the ceiling and punch across your body that's it good come on you're doing great we have a narrow squat and reach up on our toes next now don't worry if you can if you feel like you're losing your balance coming up onto your toes particularly with weights in your hands that can be quite challenging so leading with your bottom again down we go reach up and I'm coming up onto my toes and I'm doing that to work my calf muscles all right if you can't do that what you could do is put the weights down put a chair in front of you or to the side just something for you to hold on to or go to a wall and try the calf raise it's lovely because a lot of us don't work our calf muscles they're very forgotten about particularly women I know men like to have a, ni a nice all-round uh, leg leg workout and they'll include the calves you'll see that a lot if you go to gyms but for us women we tend to just bypass that part of our body and it's the very part we should work particularly as we get on in years because calf raises or any calf exercise really keeps the blood circulating into your, around your lower body that's great and we need that okay that's important now we're going to x the legs for two okay and then you're either going to do your little seat in the middle or you're going to try and get down into a a deeper squat okay it's up to you whatever you feel like there one two sit down great one two good again don't let your chest fall forward on the squat down we go now if you want to you can go down into a deeper curtsy that's fine if you feel like that or you're able for that good one and two keep that chest up for me that's it if you're feeling tired maybe just do a slight bend of the knee into your squat good one and two and little seat one and two and we'll just finish out here well done okay great work now we have one side we're going to do the other side move 15. so again a little squat and then we're going to curl the leg up and punch out the ceiling okay sit down curl and punch now break this down into two parts squat first or your little seat and then curl and punch don't rush it don't try and run it into two I was doing that when I was practicing it and I just got in such a muddle with it take your time again not really listing this as a cardio workout at least I don't think I did no simple toning exercises that's it good sit down now just lean over slightly to the side not too much use those obliques to stop you from bending too far over good sit down reach and we'll get one more in and reach okay now the last move for round one we're going to do the other side 
Ooh, my bottom's on fire. <laughs> There's a lot of squats in a row. Okay, if you don't want any rest during our water break, make sure you have in your head what move you're going to repeat or have one for yourself. Squat, one of your own moves. Good. Sit down. Good. And curl. And curl. Sit down. Good. Push. That's it. Reach up. Feeling the shoulder working here. Sit your bottom down and punch. Good. Sit your bottom down. Good work. Come on, keep going. That's it. Drive that weight up. Sit your hips back. Come on, keep going. Oh, there you go. Wow, I thought we did another 10 seconds there. That went fast. Well done. Okay. Let's stop this here. That's 15 moves done already. Wow. I think with all the concentration, time just seems to fly by. Okay. It's completely different working out, like working out on a treadmill. You're treadmill, you're constantly looking at the clock, wondering when is it ever going to end. Okay. Well done. Let's grab a drink of water there. I oh, badly need it now. A little bit of sip of water we would go down well now. And like I say, if you don't need this active, uh, or sorry, this rest time, do have a little drink and uh, pick a movement there that we've just done or just march or do a little skip on the spot. I'll see you back here in a moment. Hello everyone, you're very welcome back. Now let's get going with round two. So the first move, if you remember, was the double step touch and chest press. Okay, so pushing out, getting some work for the, the chest. Right, so you can go straight away or you can take the extra 15 seconds. Okay, you can get the legs going. I like, I always like to get the legs going first anyway, so I'll get those moving. Okay, get ready now. Right, there's our work beep. Good, now let's bring in some arms. Bring them up uh, level with your, your face there if you can. Okay, if not, work down a little bit lower maybe bring them down towards the floor here like this okay see what you can do you can work between the two just in case you're feeling fatigued or if you're really feeling tired put the weights down and give it a go body weight that's it you might be able to move a little faster and maybe get a bit more cardio in that's it good so I'm working the inner and outer thighs here with our double step touch I'm working that chest there with that chest press. Nearly done now. And we have those side kicks coming. So how did you get on with those? <laughs> Round one. Okay, I'll start. Uh, you'll start on the left this time. So your side kick, opposite leg, or opposite arm punch out. Okay, let's get ready for those. Let's go. Side kick, punch. Side kick, punch. Now remember, you don't have to be kicking really high. Down here is fine, okay, depending on your mobility in that. Good. Kick and your strength there in your hips and your legs. Kick, punch, kick, punch, punch, punch. Good. And punch. Well done. Keep going. Again, using your chair as assistance if you want to give it a go. Well done, I'll get that punch in there. May as well. Okay, well done, that was great. Okay, well the leg. Keep going now, keep your breaths coming in and out. Don't be holding your, your breath. Breathe in, breathe it all out. Okay, now, kick. Now before you lift, engage your core, you're gonna tip over. Good, punch it out, and punch, good, well done, come on, keep going, kick it out, punch, keep your body moving, that's it, you're doing great, working those obliques, because if we don't switch them on, We'll tip over, so we don't want that. We don't want to fall over. Good. Your brain here knows this exercise is quite challenging, so your tummy muscles will be working really hard. Okay, now we have the wide knee raises, so I was rotating a little bit from round one to 
try and get those uh, back rows in. Let's get the legs going first. Wide knee raise. Okay, now pull back. Pull. Pull. Good. Good. Drive that knee up. Now, have you forgotten to do your tummy engagement? If you have, pull your belly button in now and feel the abs working here. Pull back. That's it. Drive your weights back. Come on, you should be feeling those posture muscles working hard there. Good. Pull back. That's it. Come on, you can do this. That's it. You're doing great. Keep going now. We've about 10 seconds left or less even. Stiff leg deadlift, bicep curl next. Okay. Now remember your stiff leg. Feet about hip distance. Down we go. Bicep curls, okay. Let's get ready for that one. Now remember to lead with your hips. Lead with your hips, that's it. Curl up, you should feel a, actually a good pull in your hamstrings. Curl up, that's it. Keep your head up, good. And curl, now tuck your elbows into your waist there. Okay, don't have them flaring out to the side. And I want you to do a full range of movement for your bicep curl. So curl those dumbbells right up to your shoulders. Now you don't have to get the dumbbells down toward, to the floor. Look, here's fine. I know some people's range of movement can be limited. So that's fine. Just work on it. This is a wonderful strength versus mobility move. That's it, good. And we just finish it out with our curls. Well done. Now I'm gonna go higher for the snatch, the dumbbell snatch. If you want to, that's fine. If you're only learning this exercise, I suggest body weight, okay? Now you're gonna feel a good bit of work going on in the hip here with this one. Stay on one side. Look up. That's it, keep that head upright, that's it. Good, I'm bringing a bit like kettlebell swing, dumbbell swing, squeezing out the glutes as you come up without arching or leaning back too far. That's it. Reach up. Good. Using the other hand out there to counterbalance the body. Reach up. Come on. You're doing great. Reach up. You're feeling that lovely stretch in your torso. Great for the shoulder. Keeping it healthy. Good. Reach up. Come on. We're just there. Finish it out. Bring that weight down slowly and tuck in that elbow. Okay, I'm gonna keep my legs in this position. I know I should be moving with the heart rate up, but it's so hard to get in and get out of it. I'll just stay here. Okay, now abs engage before you start. Reach, good. Reach up. Squeezing out your bottom. Good. Well done. It's great work for your posterior chain here as well. You can really feel your my glutes working here. Don't worry if you don't feel your glutes. A lot of people don't when they're exercising. They just simply have what we call glute amnesia. It's where if you sit a lot for your job or you're not getting much mobility or exercise in in the day, your glutes can literally just fall asleep. They forget how to work. And you have to do exercises like kettlebell or dumbbell swings, dumbbell snatches, Squats and lunges to bring them back to life. Well done, I'll change down now. Okay, where are we? Oh yes, we've got that, those butt squeezes. Shoulder presses, okay? Again, I separated these, uh, these moves out for you so that you actually really do get that work in for your bottom. Shoulder press, good. Squeeze, squeeze. I want you to feel your glutes. Now I know, like I just said, you probably, if you, pro if you do suffer from glute amnesia, <laughs> you won't feel the bum working when you're doing the exercise. In fact, you might feel your lower back or you might feel somewhere else, your hamstrings. That's quite common in people to say, I just can't feel my bum working. I remember having that um, after my daughter was born. I went back about uh, six weeks or eight weeks later to work my abdominals. I couldn't feel them. I just couldn't feel them. My body had forgotten how to send the signal to my abdominals. It's very common, it's very common. 
Okay, if you don't, if it's true what they say, squat thrusters are next. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Okay, abs engaged. Let's go, either sitting down into a little seat or getting down a little deeper if you can. Punch out the ceiling, good, come on, punch it out. If you wanna make this harder, go double. You might be feeling you want a little bit more. Now round two, if you're tired, put down the weights and just do a body weight and go single arm. Good. This is a great one now for, you know, getting that metabolism revved up there a little bit. Good. You can mix between the two, singles and doubles. Good, that's it. Make the time go a little faster once that mind is preoccupied. Well done. Okay, now, more upper body work. So we're going to punch the ceiling, punch across. Okay. That was a nice one. I like this one. I love these punching moves. Okay, now other side next. Focus on one side. Punch the ceiling, punch across. Ceiling, across. Just tap out your feet there. Tap out your toes. I think it just helps again with range of movement. Good. And across. Well done. Have fun with it. Stay strong. That's it. Really feel the, the, the moves coming from your back. That's it. Good. Keep going. Come on, you're doing a wonderful job. I'm going to switch around now for the next one. Good. Take note what one's punching the ceiling and then you just have to change to the other side. Okay, so the other side then is punching the ceiling and then cross your body. Okay, now watch your back here. So if you're taking that 15 second break, take a moment to make sure that you are pulling your belly button in towards your spine, okay? Ceiling, across, across, that's it. Come on, use the breath to punch out and in and out. That's it. Come on, get some air in and out and every now and then throughout the move. I know it's a bit tricky because there's a bit of speed going on here. It's hard to get that air out with both punches. Try and get it with the one above your head. And in. That's it. Come on, you're doing great. Keep going. Good. Now we have our narrow squat and reach up on our toes next. So again, we're going back to working those calf muscles. Well done. Okay. Right, calf muscles, shoulders, front of your legs. Good, good work. Squeezing the glutes as you come up. So if you've forgotten, down we go. Reach up and onto your toes, okay? Stick your bottom out, just like you do with your stiff leg deadlift. Reach up. Now when I say stick your bottom out, we've got to keep the back straight, okay? Curl and up. So the bottom is leading, like you're going to sit into a chair and reach up. That's it. Feel those calves working there. If you're really struggling with balance, maybe just leave out the calf raise and you can work them separately yourself once the uh, workout ends. Good. Sit down. And up. Good work. Well done, and we'll finish it out. Great work. Now we are going to X the legs behind, or you go into a curtsy, and then you're going to do your little seat in the middle. So this is our series of squats coming up before we finish out. Okay, let's go. X, X, little seat if you're not doing a deep squat. Okay, one, two, and down. Now if you want to, you can get down a little deeper. Other leg, that's it, sit down, good. One, keep that chest up for me now, good, don't sink into it. Well done, okay, and again, one. Using the weights out in front just to add a little bit of resistance to the move. Good, one, and two. Good, one, and two and 
sit down. Great work, well done. Now we have the one side squat with the leg curl coming next. So if you remember, sit down, curl and punch, okay? Separate out the two moves. All right, sit down, curl and punch. Take your time, curl and punch, good. Sit your hips down, punch out that ceiling, good. Well done, that's it. Don't try and run the two in together. I think it works so much better if you separate them. That's it, good, slight, slight bend to the side, but not too much, just to allow that a shoulder to reach up, or then a hand to reach up, good. Punch out that ceiling for me. Reach up, good. Just there now, just a couple of seconds and we'll switch around. Well done. Now, if you need the rest, that's fine. Good. Or if you don't need it, you can go ahead with it. Wow, you've done so well to get here. Let's get into position. Last move already. Okay, so abs engaged. That's it. Curl and reach. Sit down. Curl and reach. Well done. Good. I hope you're feeling good. Feeling nice and energized now after this workout today. Feeling the muscles worked. That's great work. And punch out, good. Keep going, come on, you're doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Good. Just there now, last few seconds. Come on, stay with it. Punch out, that's it, feel that shoulder working hard. Good, and there you go. Well done, well done. That was wonderful work. Okay, let's stop this now. Okay, now, heart rate didn't come up incredibly high in that one, but I didn't intend it to. Like I was saying, it was more just simple exercises to help you build up a little bit of strength. Good, but we'll uh, just gently, just in case your heart rate did come up, I'll bring it down for you. So. Just uh, step touching here to the side, bringing those hands out in front. I hope you enjoyed that workout, and if you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video. That'd be really, really wonderful. I just can't stress so much how important the likes or thumbs up on our videos are for us YouTube creators. So, and the earlier they get on the video, the better. So the, the algorithm will, uh, you know, notice that people, oh, look, there's, there are, there's a lot of people out there liking that particular workout. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll promote it a little bit more. So, thumbs up would be great. If you, and that's only if you liked it though. If you did, if you liked it, that would be great. Good. And that also tells me that you enjoyed the workout and that uh, you'd like to see more. So that's good. Well done. Now I'm just going to bring your heart rate down here a little bit, do a few quick stretches, but I will link up my cool down playlist. It'll be in the description box below this video here for your convenience and you'll find um, cool downs there, including a lower back workout as well, which I do urge you to do at least once a week. If you could do it more than that, it would be great. But you should be working on that lower back as well. And uh, that's just to kind of keep that back strong and keep it safe. Now let's do, just do a few stretches, interlace the fingers, reach up and bend to the side. Now before you bend, as always, make sure your tummy muscles are engaged. Watch with any side bending moves. Good. Well done. Hold it there. Keep your neck relaxed as much as you can. Big deep breaths for me. Let's take it back to the center. Now push up to the ceiling again. And this is an opportunity to pull your belly button in towards your spine. I like to do a slight little tilt of the pelvis backwards as well. It just helps me to feel like I'm locking in my abs. And over we go. Good. Well done. Great. Push up to the ceiling. Circle those arms around. Good. And stretch across again. Feeling a lovely, lovely, great mobility coming into the body. Good. And again, reaching across. And across. Well done. And let's just do a few um, 
torso reaches here, trying to keep those arms nice and lined up with each other. Good. Stretch, stretch. Feeling a lovely, lovely bit of movement going on here in the trunk. If your arms are tired, you can actually still do this move. It's really, the arms are not really involved. Side to side, you can feel that lovely. If you rest your hands on your hips, that lovely bit of work going on in your waistline there, your obliques, your abs. Good, two more. Well done. Let's just do a few calf stretches. So just pressing your foot under control now into the floor. Lean forward slightly, tilt your pelvis back slightly. That's it. Good. Well done. Feeling a nice stretch for the back of the leg. Great work. Switch around. That's it. Tilting the pelvis back. You're doing great. Well done to you. Good. Lean forward a little bit more if you can. That's it. Just make sure your feet are facing that 12 o'clock position. It's good to have a mirror in front of you. It really gives you great feedback. Well done. And I'm going to say goodbye to you. So don't forget now to drink water because it's incredibly warm here and we do need to be getting the fluids back in. Just to get your electrolytes back in and as well as that using, making sure you can greens, green vegetables are very well known for electrolytes, particularly spinach and also bananas are a well known fruit to get your electrolytes back in. So just make sure that you're um, helping your body recover by hydration and getting your electrolytes back in because otherwise I know what happens to me, you do, your muscles can go into spasm, particularly your calf muscles at night time. So look after yourselves and I'm glad you enjoyed that workout and I hope to see you here for more. See you soon.